So today, we're going to be looking at how to understand and setting up student profiles. So that way we can create the differentiated rules and then also assign questions based on those rules. Those are the three goals that we're going to be doing during our half hour together. So when you've logged into Wiser, the first thing you want to do before you create a worksheet, or if you've already created a worksheet and you want to set up learner profiles, you're going to click on learners. And I've got some learners here. What I can do is I can select each learner. And each learner has its own characteristics. I can put in information about that learner that only I will see. And I've got four categories here, strengths, challenges, passions, and preferences. So any of these attributes or characteristics can be used when creating rules. So for example, we've got C3PO here, and I'm going to say that a strength of his is that he is quite talkative, right? He likes to talk things through. A challenge of his is being a, is a risk taker. Passions could be interests as well. So let's say he is interested in coding. And his preference is, is that he has a particular lab partner that he likes to work with. Or that he prefers to study uh, linguistics. You can have as many characteristics as you want. What I recommend when you're first using it is to select one set, one column, whether it's strengths or challenges. That's going to be a little bit easier in terms of creating rules. When I'm done, I can go back to my learners and I can do it for another student. So for Luke Skywalker, I already did it. And let's say for Finn, strength of his is um, spontaneous. He's also reflective. And you can see, since I already used this attribute with another student, it remembers it and pops up. Once I'm done setting the learner attributes, I can now create the rules. These rules allow me to assign specific questions to students based on their attributes. So for example, here is a rule that I've already created. And I'll walk through how to create one shortly, where I've selected, oops, we'll start over. Actually, we won't do that. So I'm going to create, let's say that I have an audio question. I can select the category or the learner attribute. So in this case, it's a strength. And then when I do that, all of them will pop up. So let's say the strength in this case, and these are all of the the uh, attributes that I've used in the past. So they will pop up here. They talk items through. If this is what I want, we'll collect it. And then I see the student or students that match that characteristic. So let's create one from scratch. You can have as many rules as you want. So I'm going to name this rule um, reflective. But they do a self-reflection question. 
I'm going to add a filter. Now note, I can, in addition to selecting one of the four characteristics or one of the four trait columns, I can also do that an average score of all of, of the students' performance on the worksheets. So I can also do it based on uh, academic achievement. And now I've got both students in there. Note that I can have an additional filter. So if I wanted to also add that the strength is spontaneous. So now both of these characteristics are now active. I've got both students. I can have as many rules as I want and as many filters as I want. Now let's assign some of these rules to a worksheet. So I've got my worksheet here. And I've created a couple of different alternate quest alternative questions. So this one is a fill in the image where they have to identify the different parts of a lightsaber. And then I have an, alter an alternative question, which is a true false. I also have a sorting question here that is text-based. And I have a sorting question in which case each question is an audio version. So this is great for students who are below reading level or ELL, uh, students who may have reading disabilities. So now I'm going to assign the rules. To do that, you're going to click edit on a question, go down to the bottom, and then I slide the bar over to differentiate the instruction, and I see all of my rules. So if I were to select reflective, it means those students who match that rule would be assigned this particular question. All the other students would not. They would only get the multiple choice one. Now, if I wanted to make sure that the two students only did this question, then I'd have to create a rule that I would assign to this question. So that way it would remove this option for them, this question. Otherwise, students would have the option to select either question, to complete either question. In this way, it provides a voice and choice. And I can walk through how to do that as well. I'm gonna do the same thing here with the alternate question. So I want everyone to be assigned this question and I'm gonna select and select the differential instruction and put audio. Now only students who have the audio attribute will receive this question in addition to the to the other to the original question, whereas everybody else would have access to just this question here, the original question. When I'm done setting the differentiated instruction rules, I'm going to click save. And now it's ready to be assigned. I'm assigning it by class because I have a class built in, in Wiser.
and now it's ready to go. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the chat as we're going through. Now what I'm going to do is bring in the student view. So now I'm logged in as a student. And you'll note here, the star, that's the primary question that I assigned based on the rule. So this is this question that I want Luke Skywalker to answer. And here are the following words. Now, the student also has access to the multiple choice question as well. If I don't want him to access it, I would have to turn on a rule to assign it so that way he wouldn't access it. He can move on to the next question. And note here, he was not assigned the audio question. It did not fall under him. So he doesn't have access to that question. And when the student is done, they hand in their work. So let's just finish this up. There we go. Now note the student didn't get the correct answer here because he has to put an answer down for both questions. Again, if they didn't want them to, if you didn't want your student to answer this particular question, you'd have to create a rule so that way the student doesn't answer. So I'm gonna sign out and go back into the teacher account. Now I can see the assignments. So here, there are a couple of things you can do. If you forget to assign a rule, you can override the score or provide the score if you want, or type a comment. And if I had other students, if I logged in as the other students, I would see their scores as well. So here was the score that they did. Now, suppose you wanted to alter the rules. Suppose in this particular case that you want to either alter the rules or, and just have one of the topics or you wanted to add a different filter. Now all three students are in they are assigned it because they match all of the filters. So I can use this, I can change the rule and go back to the same worksheet and reassign it. Or I can use this rule for all my other worksheets as well. They are not worksheet specific.
In addition, I can change the attributes of the students. So let's say if I remove reflective from Luke Skywalker and I go back to the rules, he's gone. So it's automatically connected. One of the things I do recommend, especially depending on the age of the students, but you can do this with just about any age, um, they can be part of this. They can be part of creating their attributes, right? With self-reflection, figuring out how they learn, what are their areas of strength, what are their areas of growth, what are their interests? And so that will also help you assign specific questions to students and they can take an active role in their learning. So that's the main workflow of creating learner attributes and creating differentiated rules to assign specific questions in a worksheet. Theoretically, you could have one worksheet for your entire class and have multiple questions because you can have as many question types as you want in a worksheet. And depending on the number of rules, you could have one question or two questions, each with five alternative questions and assign different questions to different students. So that way, in the end, they are all covering the same topic, concept, skill that you are teaching, but you are meeting them at their level and you're meeting them based on their learner profile. So you can use the, the differentiated rules for differentiating, individualizing instruction, as well as personalized instruction. 